welcome to the microsoft power bi course one of the most powerful business intelligence tool in this course i am going to cover all the details about the power bi step by step with the theoretical concepts along with the practical hands on examples by end of this course you can learn this tool and can implement this tool in your projects as well so what we are going to cover Let's try to see the workflow of this tool. You can see data preparation is one thing which we need to do. Then query editor is one thing where we do all these data preparation things like connecting to the database, then joining the tables and then their relationships. Then we have a data modeling where we will see data view and relationship view. And finally, we will create a data visualization where we can create different dashboards or analytic application there are three concepts which we need to learn power bi desktop power bi pro and power bi mobile now what is power bi desktop so power bi desktop is nothing but it is a standalone applications which can be installed on our windows computer and it, it does help us to create powerful visualizations we have power bi pro which is nothing but a cloud applications where we can take our applications which are built in power bi desktop that can be moved to cloud and then that can be collaborated with other users and the, finally we will see power bi mobile which is nothing but a app a mobile app which can be used to view the analysis applications or visualizations we will see the advanced features about the custom visuals as well this is very important to understand wherever we wanted to create advanced applications we can use these uh, custom visuals let's see one by one what i am going to cover in the very first unit i am going to cover about what is power bi how to install power bi desktop and how to set up a project how to connect power bi desktop to source files then understanding query editor and understanding data models and creating visuals we will dive deep in sec uh, unit 2 where we will see about the power bi desktop workflow uh, interface of the data model then understanding the query interface then project files and recommended settings then we will see in detail about the query editor how we can work in query, uh, query editor what is the use of the query ed editor how we can connect power bi desktop to source files how we can perform some uh, different different operations on the rows or columns how we can replace values how we can empty rows how we can format data and handle formatting errors then we will see how to split the columns there are very processing of the columns can be done how to create tables manually or dimension tables merging queries union queries uh, fact tables uh, that also we will see uh, conditional columns then performance optimization then we will see the next unit about the data model where we will see about data relationship and view how we can uh, make a use of the data model uh, different cardinalities at the joins then we will understand about the m language and the dax this is a difference between them uh, what are different uh, supported dax types operators dax functions uh, understanding calendar functions dax basics and then there are measures columns understanding data category this all we are going to cover next is creating visuals in report view let's try to see how we can understand basic visual concepts getting started with the visuals creating first visual then hierarchies then drill mode conditional formatting visuals working with the report themes there are slicers filter types trim app tables taking project to the cloud once we have created applications in the desktop power bi desktop how we can take into cloud why we need a power bi service what is different between service pro and premium uh, how to understand the work workspace and then uh, uh, how we can connect power bi pro with the power bi desktop then creating dashboards and then there are some collaboration workspaces as well how we can publish app whether to use workspace or app now there are some other data sources as well 
which we need to understand is how we can connect like JSON data, then API, REST APIs, uh, MySQL server, we will see how to set up it and how to import data from MySQL server side as well. And then lastly, some of the advanced things about the custom visuals, which is very important when we create some advanced uh, dashboards or visualization, we need to understand custom visuals. What are the different tools required? How to set up and install the required tools? How to analyze the project and its code? Uh, there are different things about the uh, JavaScript that we will see and how to render the chart for dummy data as well. That is all we can see. This is all about the topics which I am going to cover in this course and this course is for the beginners means they can go through this course and I am sure by end of this course you, uh, you should be able to understand this tool. Thank you.